Okay. So now we're still gonna have to hand sand this, but or with the machine. Hand sanding machine. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm gonna turn it over since this is nice and smooth, and we're going to uh, just give it like one. I think this side only needs like one or one or two passes because it's a little low spot here. So let's try that. now it's pretty much cleaned up I think my blade is a little uh, it's 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 uh, either it's sticking or the resin from the wood is is creating is tearing so this will get I'll get rid of all this with the uh, with the with the hand sander so okay so now we're gonna take care of the edges I want to make the edges not not so rough so we're gonna turn this guy and this machine this machine will do about uh, up to 14 inches I think uh, let's see. Uh, I think it'll do 14 inches because it'll do this wood. So let's go up, show you how this goes up. I lied. <laughs> this will only go up to like six inches. I don't know. I thought I, I was able to do this. So what I'm going to have to do, I have a machine. I have one of these that is uh, hand driven. So. Let's get it. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Now I got to find the machine. So we're going to take a different approach to this. Uh, right now, we're in between warehouses. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to take this off. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to take this off. OK. And we're going to cut the edges off. It's a little bit easier. It's a little bit easier. Are you trying to convince yourself? Yes. <laughs> so it's 11 and a quarter. We're gonna take maybe a, we're at 11 and a quarter. We'll take a little bit off right there. We're gonna use the table saw to cut the edge and then the sander will take care of the rest because I just can't find the tool. So if you didn't have these things, you could like a hand, all the hand tools. Yeah, you can use a circular saw with a, maybe a little fence or something, I don't know. But, yeah, you can use regular tools to do it. So that's what we're gonna cut. We're gonna cut a little bit less off. like a slice of cheese. It's nice and clean, so now we'll do the same thing to this side. And we'll take off just a little bit. We'll take off that much. It's, it, it leaves a rough edge, but um, the planer does a little bit better job. But um, the sander will take care of the rest. Okay, so that'll work. Let me get the sander. We'll, we'll finish the whole thing. We'll finish this whole board here. Then I got to do the other one. But let's get the sander and and, uh, and then we'll do the, um, the the stain on it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna. It's all sanded. It looks good. And you know what they say? A little putty and paint make the electrician what he ain't. <laughs> I don't know. But they, <laughs> but they, they say it. 
what they say. Okay, good. Okay, so this this paint is uh, black, black stain, classic black. So is it? Yeah. Yep. On the bottom. So. I don't know why I'm even using a rag. I guess I wanted just to ruin the rag. And before I went and bought shelves for, for that little little space, I bought the shelves and they were like $34 for some particle board cr uh, crappy shelves. So these shelves go, and they were, they were only 34 inches. So um, 34 inches and they were like 34 at Home Depot, 34 bucks at Home Depot. So this piece of wood is uh, 12, 11 bucks or 12 bucks, something like that. And um, well, it comes eight feet. So uh, the shelves that I got, I don't know. They they probably have eight foot shelves. I don't know. But the ones at Home Depot, they only sell like certain sizes, and I don't think it, they're any at eight feet wood and the ones that I bought were not even wood. What's the benefit to having like wood? It's more durable? Or... Well, depending on where you're gonna where you're gonna put them. You know, where I in my space, since it's such a limited space, it's it's the size, you know, it's how much storage I can, how much stuff I can put on top of these. And um, that's why I made them like this. Oh, this is the top of the desk, right? No, this is the top. This is the shelf. Oh, the shelf. This is, I'm going to have uh, three. I already have one up that I did before. And um, I'm going to do, I'm going to put this one in there. So it's going to be a total of three. And if I find that it, that it's got a little bit, see like here I can see a little bit of wood sticking up. Um, I'll give it another sand, you know, I'll sand it again. Once this dries, you can sand it and then uh, um, before you seal all this. This will soak in and maybe you have to give it a second coat because I, I want them black. Completely black, so. But it gives it such a nice, it makes a, a, a $12 piece of wood. Looked like a hundred dollar piece of wood. It actually looks like a cabinet man did it. <laughs> a professional. And did it take that much time? No, it's 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 a quick thing. You know, it's the setup, the setup, and all these machines. It's what, it's the cost, and it's what takes the time. You know, bringing the machine. If you had it, if I had all these machines set up, and you know, like we had it at the warehouse, um, it wouldn't take it wouldn't take any time to do it, but. Um, the, bringing these machines out of the trailer, and it's, it's a pain. Yeah, that's alright. I gotta paint this anyways, but... You booby trapped yourself. I know. <laughs> okay, so... It's all done. Um, I'll just touch it up. And, you know, This will dry and the grain will come through, so it'll look really nice. Um, but... Now... I'm gonna finish the other one, because I got two shells. So I'm gonna finish the other one and then we'll go inside and, and uh, mount the, uh, the brackets that are gonna hold this. And uh, well, I'll see you on the next video. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more. Uh, give us a thumbs up, and uh, we'll keep putting these videos out. Leave a comment below if you're gonna tackle a, pro a project like this. Email us your pictures at questionsregonose at gmail dot com okay, there you go. <laughs> Frick. then we'll feature them in the next video thank you <laughs> <laughs>